Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale are two of world's best fighter jets. Both aircraft are nearly identical in size, power and performance. They even share a common origin, but France decided to leave the Eurofighter nations early and made its own aircraft. That brings us to the question, how do these two fighter jets measure up against each other? Let's find out in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can watch more military videos. Number 1. Let's have a quick look on specifications of these jets first. Number 2. The Typhoon is powered by two Eurojet engines, which produce 40,460 pounds of thrust combined. The aircraft can fly at top speed of Mach 2. The jet has ferry range of 2,350 miles with combat radius of 863 miles. The aircraft's service ceiling is more than 65,000 feet with rate of climb around 1,043 feet per second. The thrust to weight ratio of the jet is 1.15 with maximum G loading at 9 G's. On the other hand, Rafale is powered by two turbofan engines generating 33,720 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the jet can gain top speed of Mach 1.8. The aircraft has maximum range of 2,299 miles with combat radius of 1,151 miles. The service ceiling of jet is 50,000 feet with rate of climb around 1,000 feet per second. The thrust to weight ratio of the aircraft is 1.13 with maximum G loading at 11 G's. Number 3. The Typhoon has 30 degrees instantaneous turn rate and sustained turn rate of 23 degrees. While Rafale has instantaneous turn rate of 30 degrees and sustained turn rate of 24 degrees. Climb rate is 1043 feet per second for Typhoon and 1000 feet per second for Rafale, which indicates that both fighter jets have the ability to regain energy. Rafale's combination of close coupled canards leads to significant improvement in maximum lift and drag ratio. Rafale's 48 degrees wing sweep gives it better lift to drag ratio compared to Typhoon's 52 degree sweep. However, higher sweep means that Typhoon comparatively drags less in cruise flight. Rafale has better supersonic maneuverability in comparison to Typhoon. In terms of post-storm maneuverability, Rafale can achieve 100 to 110 degrees angle of attack, while Typhoon is limited to 70 degrees angle of attack. However, Lurks helps Typhoon to achieve 100 degree angle of attack and thus matches Rafale. Typical operational angle of attack limit is 32 degree for Rafale and 35 degree for Typhoon. However, Rafale's close coupled canard makes it better in spin recovery capability, which basically makes Rafale a spin proof jet. Number 4. The Typhoon is equipped with latest avionics, radar and sensor fusion technology. The primary sensor of the jet is captory electronically scanned radar. The radar has a full suite of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface modes. The wider field of regard offers significant benefits in both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface engagements. The Typhoon's wide-angle head-up display provides the pilot with stable, accurate, high-integrity, low-latency eyes-out guidance in a compact package. The aircraft is also equipped with inertial navigation system supported by Global Positioning System. On the other hand, Rafale is equipped with Thales passive electronically scanned multi-mode radar, which is capable to achieve increased level of situational awareness through the earlier target detection. The radar projects real-time 3D maps for terrain following and high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. 
the radar can detect at range of 124 miles. To enable the jet to perform in the air supremacy role, it includes several passive sensor systems. The front sector electro-optical system is completely integrated within the aircraft and can operate both in visible and infrared wavelengths. This sensor enables the deployment of infrared missiles at beyond visual range distances. It can also be used for detecting and identifying airborne, ground and sea targets. Number 5. The Typhoon has the capacity to carry 9.9 .9 tons of payload on its 13 weapon stations. An armament control system manages weapons selection, firing and monitors weapon status. The fighter jet can carry short-range air-to-air missiles and is fitted with 27mm revolver cannon. Typhoon can also carry the latest beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles like Meteor. The aircraft has also been upgraded with Paveway to provide high levels of operational flexibility. Some of the other weapons include Storm Shadow, Taurus, Small Diameter Bombs, Brimstone and Anti-Ship Missiles. On the other hand, Rafael can carry payloads of more than 10.5 tons on its 14 hard points. The range of weapons includes air-to-air, air-to-ground, air-to-sea, guided and unguided bombs. For a strategic mission the jet can deliver Storm Shadow standoff nuclear missile. The aircraft can also carry Meteor beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. The jet can also fire precision guided bombs. The aircraft has a twin gun pod and 30mm cannon, which can fire 2,500 rounds a minute. Typhoon is faster aircraft and has a significantly superior thrust to weight ratio. It also has a significantly higher service ceiling of over 65,000 feet while Rafale has a superior load carrying capability. The jet has better maneuverability at low speeds and altitudes than Typhoon. In terms of horizontal maneuverability, Rafale has the better instantaneous turn rates allowing it to reverse its turns more quickly, but Typhoon can sustain higher Gs for longer period without bleeding speed. Rafale has better ferry range at around 3,700 miles. Both aircraft carry incredibly advanced electronic warfare suites equipped with decoys and jammers. The Rafale can carry slightly more payload at 20,900 pounds than Typhoon's 19,800 pounds. The jet is capable of carrying tactical nuclear warhead as well. The Rafale has better combat radius than the Typhoon in case it needs to deep strike. The Rafale gets the edge in the role of close air support. Its close coupled canard design makes it to a better flyer in the low and slow regime. However, Typhoon has a much better selection of low collateral damage weapons like the Brimstone and Small Diameter Bomb. In BVR engagements both aircraft are capable war machines. These jets are also capable of mounting ramjet powered meteor missile with range in excess of 62 miles. Typhoon has a slight edge as it is equipped with slightly better radar and sensors. In order to gain the energy advantage in a dogfight, one must climb as high and as fast as possible at the beginning. The Typhoon climbs faster than the Rafale. However, better maneuverability and 30mm gun make Rafale a better dogfighter. So once dogfight begins you better be in the Rafale. So what do you think that which fighter jet is better? Eurofighter Typhoon or French Rafale? Let us know in the comments section. Also be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.